School bell ringing out starts us both. Ah, I was supposed to be back before the bail. Oops. She jumps off the bench and almost races off without a second word. But turns on her heel, she remembers she was talking to me just now. I'll see you later, Sal. Cheer up, okay? As her voice fades, I tell her I'll try to. Thanks, Yuko. With a quick bow, Yuko takes her leave and begins her rush to the library. Her flight catches her curious eyes of a few passing students who are unenthusiastically trudging back to the class after their fun. Reluctantly standing, from, reluctantly standing from the bench, I dust myself off and join them. Even while I walk through the gardens back to the main building, I, the thought of the letter in my bag doesn't stray far from my mind. Well. Oh, yeah. Katawa shohojo, katawa shohojo, do do do, do do do. Yeah, well, the letter's gonna kinda stick with you, man. You kinda gotta do it. This game went from very, like, upbeat and, like, fun to, like, very serious and, like, Okay, now we gotta think about this when we have complex relationships. And we're in town? Where are we? Oh, yeah. The feeling of walking through the streets is very one of deep nostalgia. Oh, Yamako might feel like the reverse of where I lived in the past. The city at night is amazingly familiar. Yeah, bright lights, darkness, scenery, cars. Sounds like a city. Sounds like a city! That's how. This could very well be a city, and we are very well going to live here. My eyes are moving constantly from the bright electronic screens glowing high in the night sky to street lamps piercing the darkness with their light, to the businessmen enjoying themselves after work, and the bustly taking couples on dates. Even if I didn't want to, I can't help soaking in every aspect of the city. I savor its familiarity like sweet candy sitting on my tongue. Well, then me and you are different as Sal. Maybe, maybe if I got some time away from, like, people, I would, again, like, you know, enjoy the sound of everyone. But I don't know. I kind of like... I like my time alone. I like no people. Although when you go into the city, at least New York City, oh my god, it's such a good feeling because it's like, holy shit, everyone is doing something. No one is not doing anything. Unless you go to uh, Central Park, and might I say, Central Park, fucking beautiful. Oh, they look like a couple. They really do. Lily's walking to my left with her cane, swaying to and fro, holding on to her sister's arm for guidance while talking to her. Compared to traveling by taxi or bus, being driven by Akira and a rather nice car was a much more enjoyable experience. You're trusting the drunk alcoholic to drive? Whoa! Oh, nice funny hat. You look like a limousine driver. Or should I say, a chauffeur. You can show me for a good time. Maybe not the only person on my right, though. Maybe not for the person on my right, though. Lily was used to her sister's driving style and quite liked a bit of excitement. Nako was holding very tightly to the door for the most of her trip. She must be a driving maniac. Everything looks so pretty at night. Nako quickly looks down at it again as she accidentally catches someone's gaze. Yeah, it does. My answer isn't very thoughtful, since I'm distracted by so many thoughts that I find it hard to keep it on small talk. Just, pff, I fucking hear you, man. Sometimes small talk is the bane of my existence. <laughs> I don't even know why it exists. One of those distractions aside from the city sights is how Hanako looks. It's the first time I've seen her in something other than a school uniform, and I don't like it. it. Gives me applause when I see her for her outfit when we met up at school gate. Considering how much her head is lowered when people talk walk near us, imagine that the hat she wears is more of a fashion statement. It's more than a fashion statement. While initially I was wary of Lily's plans to take us into the city, when night fell in, it became obvious she had thought about this. Not many people have paid Hanako much heed since the darkness hides her scarring well. Why do we have to always talk about her scarring? Why can't we talk about her beautiful smile? God. So, we're in a city. Any ideas on what to do? What do? What do? Akira beams a smile. Something tells me she's the one who's making this particular decision, even if her sister may have proposed to be in the outing at first. You'll see. Just follow us. I'm not trying my best to... I a grimace after what happened during Hanaga's birthday party. I don't trust Akira's judgment all that much. We got loaded. Oh god, now we're going down a dark alley. Oh god, Akira's really man. She's gonna whip out her penis. Everyone's gonna fucking die. Oh god, I'm too low. I'm too, I'm too young to be violated. Am I overreacting? Okay, probably overreacting. We keep walking and I notice that they are passing more and more cafes, restaurants, and other eateries. Every once in a while, a drunken man in a suit comes out of a bar, usually being supported by another. But for the most part, the customers around this part of the city look... You know, young, fashionable, like, you know, any traditional city. Different kinds of music come as we go and buy each restaurant. The score created by the overlap should be grating, but it reminds me of some stronger the times I spent in the city with my old friends. I don't mind. Hanako and I have started to drift a little apart from Lily and Akira. Comes to a stop when I hear a soft thud from beside me. <gasps> Someone's bumping in your butt. <laughs> wow, nice pants. Is that a fashion statement, or you just didn't see what you wore this morning? I can expect Lily to wear something like this, but you, you at least can see. S -s sorry By the time she writes herself from the apologetic bow, the middle-aged businessman she bumped into is walking away after mumbling a hearted apology. Me, 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 look at that me, she probably could have taken family everywhere. That hurt my throat to do. <coughs> <coughs> sorry. 
Naka looks a little put off by the experience, and as she quickly skips ahead to match my pace, I notice her head hanging low once more. Probably bumped into him because she was looking downwards, not where she's going. Always hold your head high, Naka. Come on. I stepped aside a little bit, put one hand on her far shoulder, drawing her closer. I say, come here, babe, and I land one right in her fucking cheek. A sal? It's okay. You can walk closer to me if you want. My middle name is Rico Suave. I'm smooth with the ladies. Naka hesitates, but eventually nods in assent. Aww. Ooh, I like the music. After a couple of times when I thought we'd arrived at the curious destination, we reached our target. But now, we're below the elevated walkways and past the most garnished and lightly lit place. I'm a bit surprised the average age of these people. They're all distinctly older, and the smell of cigarette smoke is pretty thick. <laughs> the area is far from the city, though, and it's a little amusing to see all these reactions to the smell of smoke. While smashed by low talking goes around us, jazz music can be heard emanating from, outside, from the inside. Looking up at the dimly lit sign, it becomes obvious why. A jazz club! I have to admit, this isn't what I expected. Lily gives an amused snort and smile. <laughs> jazz. Somehow I feel like I should have known it, Akira. As we talk outside and notice more and more odd sideway glances directed our way, more people awkwardly catch themselves staring and look away, but that just makes it more obvious. I had noticed it occasionally when we were walking, but this is more pronounced now. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. An average looking Japanese teenage guy, just a little taller from the normal. And it's the type to draw attention without making any effort? Hey, come on. Just because you're a teenager doesn't mean you can't have a taste, right? Well, I don't really mind the music, if that's what you mean. I, I don't I don't mind it either. She's only just managing to force the words out. Because she's in the fucking middle of the city. People are all around her. You want her to dance? Whoever thought this plan through was seriously, seriously not considering Hanako's special needs. And pissing me the fuck off. Could just heavily to what we're alone in your yeah when we're alone in your market. And it disappoints me a little that she's so highly strung for. It's supposed to be a good time out in the town. They don't know, man. They just don't understand it. It's hard to read Hanako's face as she keeps looking downwards in her hand covering it. A little wonder she doesn't come here often in the city because of this. And it makes me a little thankful. My own scarring is easily hidden. Yeah, that's true. Lily has a similar way of attracting people's gazes, but for the reason it's clearly different. She hardly looks like a native, and the same can be said for her sister. That's much more more noticeable than her blindness from a distance. Yeah, just two blonde chicks. Probably lesbians, chillin'. I don't know, it seems like a good time. She may not be able to see her for herself, but I have a little doubt she can hear the odd whispered phrase from people who think they're out of earshot. And remember, she can hear like a dog. But be that as it may, it doesn't seem to show any sign of either annoyance or pleasure at the attention. Akira still as confident as ever, though. Flashing a smile, she strides in with Lily by her side, and two of us follow behind. Ooh, the running man. iPod, is that a gun? Shit. I expected my eyes to need adjusting to the lighting side, but it's not much brighter than outside. The music we hear is clear now, mixing with silent glasses moving on the tables and counter, and the husky chatter of the patrons. Looking to my right reveals the music source, a jazz group beyond play playing some beyond the tables. Patrons seem to be mostly men, even though it's a handful of women, nobody looks in their 30. Aside from us, of course. I feel like a little we stepped in the 1920s. The atmosphere is quite agreeable. I'm not qu completely comfortable simply because of my age, but if I were older, I'd probably feel quite at home. Naka seems a bit more relaxed now, probably due to nobody looking at her. Everyone's talking between themselves, drinking, or watching the band. Good band. No, seriously, great band. I love jazz. Whoa! All well, the people disappeared. Kira casually takes a seat at the counter without even glancing around. She's probably come here before. Yes, this is, uh, Lesbian Tuesdays. Time to dance. Lily retacks her cane, feeling out the bar still on the edge of the counter before taking a seat beside her sister. The bartender takes a brief break from polishing her glass to watch her before putting it down and coming over. Back the fuck off, bartender. If you hit on any of them, I swear to God, I will fucking annihilate all of you. These are my ladies. Good evening, ladies. Will it be? Just a scotch. Thanks, Lily. Thanks, Lily. Oh, shit. Black suit elbow hits her side sharply. Orange. Orange shoes, please. <laughs> No problem. Coming right up. So you'd want a, uh, Jack and Rum. Or, a Jack and Orange Juice. Without, without Jack. Bartender starts to pour their drinks. A couple of seconds pass before Akira suddenly remembers that Hanako and I are indeed here. Thanks a lot, Akira. You know, we're, we're people. You two want anything? Or are you just gonna stand there around? Naka seems to be getting a bit restless. No matter what, we're gonna see ourselves. No, ah, uh, no matter. No matter where we're going to see ourselves, there are going to be people right next to her. I don't think she looks convincingly older than 20, unlike Lily. Looking around, there's a game section to our right. A couple of billiards tables can be seen. I can fucking play pool like a hero. No one's using them. Glenn said, Nako, I'm about to ask her to like to play, but she's already looking longly in the same direction. Maybe it's just something that we can do with so few words nowadays. We'll go play pool over there. Kira leans back to see past me before shrugging. I see back up. Eh, you two can just fucking jerk off over there. I don't care. It seems you have to put up with only me for company. How unfortunate. 
Have fun, you two. We turn set up for the abandoned corner, with Hanako taking the lead. Prospect of a nice, quiet game for everyone makes her walk noticeably faster. Her eyes stay firmly fixed on her prize. Not my crotch. Ooh. Very jazz-oriented. Table's full-size and well-lit, despite the surrounding darkness. Next to the bright overhead lights, a huge painting of, well, a, an eye butterfly. There aren't many people milling around the corner of the club, and I can see Hanako becomes a little less tense as a result. Y you know how to play? Of course, bro, Billiards Champ 2010. I'm no expert, but if, yeah, dude. The, uh, eight ball? Sure. Eight ball goes in any of the corners without calling it or being the last shot. You fucking lose. I think. Maybe. I don't remember how to play billiards. My grandfather has a pool table. I liked pool. Good times. Hanako gets the chalk and two cues from a set of hooks against the one on the walls. While I fetch the balls from the table pockets and grab a rack from the shelf underneath. She painfully waits as I get the table set up. After sliding the final ball into the rack and getting doing some last adjustments, I'm having to fight my perfectionist urges and getting the bottom row of balls exactly perpendicular with the edges. With the balls arranged and ready to play, I step back, taking my cue from her outstretched arm, carry out a quick inspection of the tip before I'm satisfied it's in good condition and insert it on the rack. This definitely just seems like something that's going to happen later tonight that maybe we shouldn't go into more details because if we do, you two may get angry. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm a little tired. Uh, my voice is starting to trail off and I want this to be exciting as possible. So, got a little... Cancel it. Not cancel. No, no. Don't say the fucking word cancel. Pause it here and we'll pick it up next time as me and Lily drink and as me and Hanako play some billiards in a jazz hotel pool place. I'm chilled cast. I don't advocate drinking. I am a drink. I'm your drink. And when you drink me, I go all over you. Because you throw up afterwards because I'm so fucking bitter. Ew. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm Chill Chaos. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. I'm very weird. That's alright. Weird's a good thing. When is weird a bad thing? Create a new safe state. How long have we been playing? Nine hours. Mother of God. Catch you guys next time, guys. Chill Chaos saying, see you on the flip side.